what's up what's going on how y'all doing how y'all feeling my peeps my peoples we is in the building peep squad let's get down to the situation let's talk about mike hill and cynthia bailey lord have mercy this is sad news mike hill is out of a job and cynthia bailey is gonna have to pick up the slack baby but please don't forget to like comment and subscribe this situation is like oh my god and disbelief that 200 employees have been laid off by the black news channel like baby what is going on in this situation they are not paying their employees how healthy can this be for cynthia bailey and mike hill's new marriage that now they're going to have financial strain if they already didn't have financial strain because cynthia bailey walked away from real housewives of atlanta to protect her marriage i know mike hill is in the background saying baby i think you shouldn't have left the show because i didn't know that the black news channel was gonna do me like the way that they're doing me lord have mercy this is a really sad situation all the way together because you guys already know cheating and finance will lead people to divorce but hopefully cynthia bailey and mike hill can stick it out and keep it moving and keep it going baby but in any event in recent news as you guys know mike hill was out here interviewing cynthia bailey y'all and cynthia bailey you know basically said you know what mike hill likes to do out here in these streets between the sheets and mike hill was like girl we are still a family channel we all live one of us gotta keep employment so it looks like cynthia bailey has won that bet because she has kept her employment and she has not worked for a company that is folding and going under the ground baby there were warnings back in 2020 when the chief of the black news channel basically said since july of 2020 that he wrote the staffers that effective immediately that the bnc will no longer have live production too much money too many employees too much time space too many cameras too many lighting you know they can't pay their electric bill they can't pay the gas bill they can't pay the central air they can't pay for the cameramans they can't pay for none of it and then on top of that now their 200 employees can't pay for their personal expenses after all when they put their self on a back burner for the black news channel and baby they got slapped right in the face lord have mercy y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation so check mike hill out here you know telling cynthia one of us gotta work mm, it seems like cynthia is working baby all right let, let me before, before i go let me let me play a game I, I i want you to keep it real with mike hill i'm gonna play a game called keeping it real with mike hill i'm gonna ask you some hot seat questions now baby and I want you to keep it one. All right, name one thing you do for me that you don't really like doing, but you do it anyway because you know I like it. I need you to be 100% real. Okay. Totally right. honest. Uh, reverse cowgirl. Oh, hey, oh, we still <laughs> on the show. <laughs> she mean when we go. <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> Baby, we, I got to keep my job. One of us got to work now. <laughs> have mercy. It seems like Mike Hill has not had any good luck. Hopefully his books are making some monte. Or maybe he needs to write another book. But in any event, I bet he is asking Cynthia Bailey to call up some of her friends, baby. Because Cynthia Bailey left on good terms when it comes to all the employers she has had in the past. So maybe it might be looking up for Mike Hill, but them employees are going through it, y'all. This is a crazy situation, point blank, period. Y'all tell me what y'all think. It also states, arrangements have been made for the company to pay all earns but unpaid wages to laid off employees the board of the bnc said in a statement friday evening lord have mercy what is going on in this situation this is crazy point blank period and also as as of march 25th payroll deposits this is what the employees was sent march 25th payroll deposit bnc staff the March 25th payroll deposit will be delayed. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. We are actively working to resolve these matters quickly and will advise you with an 
update as soon as possible. Thank you for your understanding. Baby, there ain't no understanding in this situation, point blank, period. Because the mortgage company ain't going to have no understanding. The insurance company ain't going to have no understanding. And also medical benefits, if your insurance ain't paid, they ain't going to have no understanding. They ain't going to want to hear what the BNC can't afford to pay y'all. They going to cut you off. Light and gas ain't going to hear no, I'm apologizing. Please thank you for your understanding because ain't nobody going to have no understanding at all when you can't pay your bills. And so they left these 200 employees out here in the door, baby. This is very sad, point blank, period. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. And the staffers at the Black NC News, staffers are angry. They're demanding answers after getting an email yesterday that their paychecks are being delayed. Like, OMG, staffers are calling. They are not getting any response from any of their employers at all. Everybody's incognito. Everybody is running. It's a massive layoff. Like, OMG. And it seems like they've been having a hard time within the four to five months that they have been operating, you know, from 2021 to 2022. And they basically don't have no funding anymore. And the person that used to fund them, basically the billionaire, he done closed his pockets to the situation. And basically he is out here filing for bankruptcy so he's going to be paid everybody else that's in a high position going to get paid and they already done squeeze out the last little money that was left in the company so therefore the employees are going to be sitting out there waiting for their money this is highway robbery this is robbery y'all this is just a really sad situation point blank period and i would say that mike hill did some amazing interviews on the black news channel especially when he interviewed cynthia bailey when i first seen the video it only had three thousand views and once i covered the story about mike hill kind of like shading cynthia bailey you know i went back to the black news channel and that video had a hundred thousand and counting so it seems like the black news network they should have reached out to more youtubers they should have reached out to black blog sites they should have reached out to the black community that is covering entertainment and media instead of being isolated from the rest of us they should have been a part of us and on that turn they would have got a lot of more viewership especially when they relate their content and let others sample their content and talk about the situation and also share they would have been getting the numbers and also if they would have went to these big blog sites that are covered by african americans and black people that would have helped boost their numbers where people would have went to them to get news as well as going to the huge black bloggers that are taking over the internet it seems like they were isolated and wanted to seem superior than the rest of the people when you have employees like Mike Hill that was down for whatever and was cool and everything. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation, but I would be highly mad, highly pissed, especially it's about to be summertime. Gas prices are already up sky high and you gonna tell me I can't get my paycheck. You don't know when my paycheck is coming, point blank, period. Some of these employees probably can't put gas in their car, probably can't buy food or pay for that medication and basically they're gonna say i'm sorry for the inconvenience this is how we run this is how we roll this is how you do your own people that was out here scuffering and out here suffering and trying to basically build the black news channel up and working hard when they could have been working for anybody else but they chose to work for a black company and this is what the black company decided to do was surprise them and basically don't give them their money point blank period where they do this at this is illegal like lord have mercy that means your sick time your vacation time your bonus pay and everything is all finito done you ain't gonna see it and then on top of that these people have family and children and investments and for this company to just run away like that knowing that they couldn't cover the march 25th payroll deposit baby they should have been giving away stuff selling they should have been giving away everything up in that studio for real for real you know they didn't do a lot to promote the black news channel you know every i found it but i had to do some deep searching like they didn't promote it well at all point blank period they didn't reach out to these huge bloggers that have these huge websites where they can cut clips and put it up there and make your 
you know um channel or your story go viral you know what i mean like this is crazy couple cynthia bailey and michael yes they got money yes they got duckets yes they got cheddar but at the same time this is probably going to be financially straining on them and that means cynthia bailey has to put in more work cynthia bailey got to continue to grin and smile and run out there and snatch each and every bag that she can until mike hill you know start earning the income he used to earn before or more so in any event you know i don't think by coastal is going to be the situation anymore and cynthia is going to hold on tight she's going to hold on to her love of hooligan and mike hill right now he can't walk away he can't do anything he better stay right where he is and be faithful to cynthia bailey and support her rub her feet rub her back help her get through and at the same time have her call her connects as well but in any event we shall see what is going to happen with this situation because it's not right and it's not fair for these employees to not receive their money at all and not to get paid and they get an iou no we are the lannisters we always pay our debt like what's going on y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation this is just sad point blank period that they just sat there and let them employ them employees out there stranded. Do, could you imagine being stranded? Could you imagine, you know, telling your kids and telling the light company and the gas company that, hey, I ain't got the monte. You know, I'm waiting to get paid right now. They told me they're sorry for my inconvenience, but they're going to quickly solve the matter. Oh, no. Mm -mm -mm. And they knew four to five months ahead of time. Actually, they knew back in 2020. 20 that you know they wasn't getting the numbers and you know the money and the funding was going down this is why they stopped going live live production okay mm -mm -mm. this is just really sad for real for real y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation but it also seems like cynthia bailey and mike hill have been in an uphill battle when it comes to you know working together and then now they're not working together on you know bravo the real housewives of atlanta and you know there have been rumors speculation people are saying that mike hill doesn't sound all that interesting and in cynthia bailey he wants out on all types of things of that nature and mike hill doing interviews and saying that cynthia bailey don't need them mm. I think that story is going to quickly change. We shall see Cynthia Bailey back on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we shall see Mike Hill too as well. Maybe season 15.